Hey guys, it's Brent Boyer from Adam. So let's talk divorce. I want to talk today about a question that we get from uh, clients from time to time. People want to know, does a divorce affect my credit? So get, is getting divorced going to cause your credit score to decrease? That's really the, the gist of it. That's the question. So, I mean, the short answer on that is just because you get divorced doesn't mean that you will have a lower credit score. But there are a lot of things that can happen during the process of a divorce that can affect your credit score. So, score. so for example, um, you could end up refinancing your house to buy out your wife. So let's say you're gonna get divorced, you're gonna keep the house, and you have a pretty good amount of equity in it, so you need to borrow money, buy out your wife, and now you're keeping the house. Well, now you've taken on more debt. So that can ultimately that can end up affecting your credit. It can affect your ability to borrow other money because you just borrowed a bunch of money to buy out your wife from her house. So that's one way that a divorce could affect your credit. You could also be looking at things like uh, maybe the split of debt was uneven. You ended up taking more than your share of the debt and that's costing you money and can affect your credit score because now you're taking on more debt. Um, and you could also get into where there is a joint debt. It's in both names and there's maybe no way to pay it off during the divorce, and now you're gonna have your wife take that joint debt in the settlement agreement, she's agreed to pay it, but then she's not making the payments. So then you're paying your bills, you're running your separate life, and you think everything's good, and then come to find out the joint debt that you thought your wife was paying and that she was ordered to pay has not been paid and is behind, and now that has affected your credit score. So that can happen. You can also see that type of thing at the beginning of a divorce too, where people are not on the same page anymore. They really haven't not been, they have not been living as husband and wife. They're living kind of separate lives and maybe they're sharing a joint account and your wife withdraws money that you're not aware of and now the checking account's overdrawn. That can affect your credit score. Or you can be in a situation where your wife's the one paying all the bills every month. You're busy working, not really worrying about it and you think bills are being paid and the bills are in your name. Come to find out mortgage is two or three months behind. Other bills are two or three months behind. That happens too, and that, that's not a good feeling. That also can have a, an effect on your credit score. And there also can sometimes just be some confusion about a court order or judgment of divorce, and after you've been divorced, you could get in a situation where your wife was ordered to pay a debt, and she wasn't sure she was supposed to be paying it, and isn't paying it, and that can be causing problems with your credit too. So, so hopefully that helps. Those are some examples on that. Thanks.